Hello, my beautiful, wonderful, amazing, fabulous friends. It is Sharon with Little Britain Company, and I am here with, yes, you guessed it, a haul. I'm sure you already know that because the description says that I'm here with a haul. So I went to, um, I am finally better. I was, uh, we, if you didn't see any recordings or anything come out for the last couple of weeks, uh, Little Brit and I had the flu. He got the flu. And then a couple of days later, after taking care of him, I got the flu. And this flu is nasty. Um, in my school, uh, we I at, on any given week over the past month, about a fourth of my school has been absent, along with a fourth of our teachers. And that's been a nightmare. I think we are finally getting on the other side of this, at least with my, you know, within my school. Um, but it's quite something, and the students were very, very sick. Uh, Little Brit was so sick. On several occasions, we had to sort of decide, you know, is it time to take him to the hospital? Um, we had conversations with this doctor, who was wonderful, and uh, and and he is fine and healthy and, and all that good stuff now. But um, anyway, so uh, we waited way too long to get the flu shot. I hope that you all have not uh, waited so long to get the flu shot. Uh, I didn't expect to need it in... September or early October, um, but I did. So, and uh, and I'm still battling a little bit of an infection. So this new flu can move and create an infection in different parts of your body after it's gone, which is nuts. Uh, so I have an infection in my jaw and um, super fun. So anyway, um, so moving on, I had... Uh, Finally got out a little bit, and I have a haul from Dollar Tree, a small haul from Joanne's, and of course, Hobby Lobby, some of my favorite places to go. Uh, I would I would lie to you and tell you this will be really quick. You know me better than that. So uh, I will go through it, and, and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun for you to see, and there'll be good stuff. Um, I do want to start by showing you these uh, magazines that I pick up. Um, Simply Cards and Paper Craft is, uh, this is a UK magazine, and you can pick it up um, at Hobby Lobby, and I think you can also get this at Sam's Club, which is, depending on what kind of discount you have, not Hobby Lobby, um, at Joanne's or Sam's Club, depending on what kind of discounts you have from Joanne's, you might be able to get it cheaper there. They're not cheap. Um, I think they're like $17 or something nuts without any discounts. But if you've never seen these, here is why I will continue to buy them. So in this particular one, you get this. So these are British magazines, and with British magazines, they, uh, they almost always include something extra. It is a chance for companies to share their goods and to really show you what they have available. And so in this one... We got this amazing die cut. Look at this thing. It is just so super cool. Um, it's the whole Santa over the rooftops. You can see some of the cards that they made. And then uh, in the magazine itself, they have downloads. You go to um, you go to their website and they have additional freebie downloads for the uh, mag that go with the magazine. Um, just tons of paper crafting, uh, different options. They'll, of course, preview tools and things. And then they'll give you inspiration for the die cut or whatever it is you get. It's not just a die cut. Sometimes it's stamps. Sometimes it's paper. Um, sometimes it's a combination of all three, uh, which I have gotten in the past, which is super fun. Um, this one actually came, did come with paper. I think you can kind of see some of it. Uh, so this one came with paper. I don't know where I put the paper. I think I put the paper away right away. Um, and I wanted to show it to you. And I'm so sorry I don't have it with the magazine. So, uh, but honestly, just super cool options. Look at some of, I mean, seriously. So I'm just showing you a few little things in here. Um, but... It all works when you have the die cut, and to get the die cut, you got to get the machine. And honestly, if I'm spending 17 and, and if I go to and use one of my high-end 40% off at Joanne Fabric, I'm, it brings it way down. Um, I don't know if that's going to be, it's like 9 or $10. But for $10 for this die cut, I would pay $10 just for the die cut. 
And again, I like I said, there was Christmas paper inside. I think it says at the front, which what? Yeah. So these, this, this, this was the paper, and these were the options. It even had like little um the, the little tag things, little cut part tags. Um, make sure you can see that. I'm gonna try to get that to focus better. Here we go. So. Uh, anyway, so if you haven't seen these, let me show you the other one. These are the two Christmassy ones that have that are available, I think, right now. This is issue 233 and 234, and this isn't the height of their Christmas, I don't think. So with this one, you, we got this die cut. Oh, my golly, guys. Look at this. Okay, with this one, let me put it on the... No, let me put it in my hand. With this one, you get the... Uh, Merry Christmas die cut, just the circle, which you can use independently. You get the ornament piece that goes around it, or again, you can use independently on other things. You get the little ornament topper. Oh my golly. I know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying not to yell into it because I'm getting so excited. And you get the little tiny bow that can go on top of it. So you can get everything that puts this together. But again, so many other options for a die cut like that. And uh, just super cute but wait that's not all no i'm not getting anything from the magazine i wish i was um you also get this series of stamps i mean guys so merry and bright most time, wonderful time of the year deck the halls sparkle and then these little ornament stamps the tag and then the ornament um the additional ornament piece that can go inside your ornament uh so super exciting um Kind of shows you on the back. Oh, and there was more paper. And again, I put the paper away and I can't believe I did that. And I couldn't find it when I went to do this. Um, I went to do this. Uh, often the paper is on the inside. but And they'll have tons of amazing um, things for you to do with this. And all the directions that we need. So it, it's just... Anyway... That's my two cents. I love these magazines. I uh, used to buy these in the things like this in the UK. Uh, and, and again, in the UK, a good number of their magazines come with the extras, which is so fun. Um, certainly makes me want to buy it. I don't know if I can get a subscription to this magazine here. If I can, I will. And I will give you all the information and try to share it uh, later. Uh, I'll come back to it. So I think I'm going to start with Joanne because I went into Joanne's, got some very something very specific. I went into Joanne's. <gasps> All I went into Joanne's for was this. Where my my Cricut blades, uh, the uh, port my portable trimmer. I like my Cricut, and I like my portable trimmer. It cuts really well when the blades are in good shape. But I have to say, I go through a lot of Cricut blades, and I don't know why. Um, I don't think that it's because I'm doing so much cutting, because I did that on some of my other ones. My Fiskars, that blade lasted a good long time, even when I was doing a tremendous amount of cutting. Um, I'll, you know, The Cricut blades, I just feel like I'm going through these super fast. It doesn't take very much before the blade seems to start giving me jagged edges. So... We'll see how long this lasts, because I'm getting a little tired of having to buy additional Cricut blades. However, then, there, uh, this was last weekend when I was able to get out for the first time, and I went a little bit nuts. <coughs> so, um, today is November, I don't even know, what is today? November something? November 12th. It's the day after uh, Veterans Day. Um, and happy Veterans Day to my grandfather, uh, who fought in World War One, and uh, there is actually a book about my grandfather. All right, yes, I'm going to plug this just because, uh, and again, I get no money from it, but my um, wonderful brother-in-law, Gary Moyer, wrote a book about my grandfather, Walensky, uh, and and uh, World War One, and, and his trials and tribulations with World War One, and um, it's a, a fabulous book. It is on Amazon if you have a chance. Uh, there you go. There's there's my shameless plug, and I'm okay with it. Um, and then my Uncle Leon uh, was in World War II, and uh, he was a Marine. I uh, recently saw some of his um, 
my grandfather's medals. I don't think that was all of them, but uh, my sister sent us pictures because my son was really interested in it. So anyway, um, happy Veterans Day. Moving on to Joanne's. I'm sorry, I know. Um, so these are uh these were 30 percent off and i don't know if they still are they may be even more by now uh found these amazing buttons i have no idea what i'm going to do with these i will probably turn them into the paper clips uh but they're so stinking cute i mean seriously these tim holtz things are just adorable um i also knew that i wanted uh some of these rubs for my junk journals i just think that they're so cool and i may use these on some of my cards uh, but i just i just really love this style it's very vintage everything here is uh, his stuff is very vintage very interesting um this whole new christmas line is super vintage I found this one i do love that with these you get the stamp and the uh, stencil um i definitely love the merry christmas i'm using that on some cards but I needed, I needed him. This was not a want or a desire. This was a need. So you've got these wonderful uh, stamps. I love the Santa looking at the world. Um, Christmas tree, you have a star that you can put in there. And of course, one of the reindeer and a snowflake. The have yourself a merry little Christmas. Uh, they don't price their the outside of their items. But uh, these were decent prices because of the additional 30% off. So I really wanted some of the words to add to cards and in some of my journals and things. I gotta love the, I mean, this guy, I don't, is he this year's? He must be this year's. Yeah. So you get this, this wonderful stripe. Um, I don't know which one I love more, Santa Claus or the stripe, because I'm just love, you know, the candy cane lane. I'm not going to sing it for you again. I think I've done that to you enough. Um, Holiday greetings, special delivery, the postcard letter, parcel, Santa Claus post op. These are just so stinking cute. Two for 20, uh, 25 cents. Stamp here. Mail early Christmas mail. To say, all right. So super cute. Love Mr. Santa here. You can see him a little bit better. Maybe right there. I'll give you a little... There you go. Hone him in. I can just do that. There we go. Focused him in. Okay, so he is super cute. I picked up this one. Um, I actually not loving the tree. I will say I really, I really don't love the tree, uh, but I do love the cute little ornaments and some of the other. Part. I love this Merry and Bright and the Happy Holidays. I love the snowman. I think this snowman is so stinking cute. Um, I just love, love, love him. And I love the stencil. I think that, that these are going to go really well. So those, okay. Maybe my favorite of the entire collection. Uh, this very 50s feel to the Merry Christmas. I love this. This is a very, these are all different vintages um, for the different uh, uh, wordage. So yes, I do like the stencil very much. But the wonderful Christmas um, I feel like we're going 40s, uh, in, maybe a little bit, oh, maybe 60s actually. Definitely feels 50s vibe to me. Um, 1800s. This one really could be anything. Um, probably 40s, 30s, 40s. Uh, best wishes. That just looks like a signature. It's hard to see there. Um, wishing you a joyous Christmas. This looks more, more modern. Very 50s, 60s. I don't know if you can see... Uh, sure that that one and then a joyful christmas if i do it like this so you're looking at the these these smaller ones on your screen that's probably much bigger um but you can really see these are all i really feel like these are all very different vintages in um the wordage so i thought that was super cute and then I actually wasn't going to get this one, and I thought, oh, it's the last one. I might as well grab it, because, you know. Uh, so I picked up this one. I do like the little snow and the bark here. And then you get sort of the buffalo print um, gingham that you could do for anything. It wouldn't have to be for, um, it wouldn't doesn't have to be buffalo print. It can be pink gingham or whatever you want it to be. But I think that's really cool. Um, and then you get more the more the wordage. 
a nice little flurry here and some of the reindeer. I like the reindeer very much. And I really like this wood. And I don't know why. And I'm sure there's plenty that I can do with it that won't just be Christmas. Um, and certainly the other ones are not going to be just Christmas. So got quite a little haul of Christmas items there. And then their Halloween was 70% off last weekend. I actually think it's up to 75% off or more now. So maybe I should have waited, but I, I didn't want to lose out on some of these. Um, I like this one. I really love the witch's hat and the black cat. Uh, these aren't my favorites. They're okay. Um, but I like, but there are, there are plenty of pieces in here that I like very much. And I like the stencil on the background. So that was certainly worth it for the prices. Uh, I love this one. This is like the old time, um, Oh, label maker. Um, so really cute. Um, this was, and the fall, this one to me, it says Halloween. To me, this is just fall. And, uh, but it was included in the Halloween items because it says Halloween. And so it was 70% off. I love this. I think the leaf, the thankful, happy fall, grateful and blessed. The other leaf, these are just beautiful. I think these are beautiful. Um, I really like this, um, stamp here and to me this kind of looks like tracks and that might be what it is it might be tracks um and then the trick-or-treat i'm here for the candy i have been wanting this it's just a bunch of hocus pocus i love this one they did not have any of um there were only one or two of his die cuts that i really wanted and they were sold out so this is everything from joanne fabric uh super excited about that uh, let's see. What should we do next? Should we do Hobby Lobby? Let's do Hobby Lobby. Let me put those over there. And let me just start taking out Hobby Lobby, which is now 60% off. Yeah, everything is still in the bags, guys. I, I managed to go shopping last weekend, but I really was not strong enough to do much else, like get it out of the bags. Um, so, okay. I'm going to do it this way. And this. If you have seen um, my Instagram page lately, you may have seen, that's not all of it, but there's a little bit more. Um, you may have seen that I, I also sew. And uh, I don't do much in the way of uh, sewing tutorials on here. I will try in the future. Because um, I'm still pretty young. To, I'm pretty young to the channels. Um but I do sew, and I do have sewing items in my craft fairs, thus the material. But for right now, these went to 60% off. So for basically $2 for six little adorable bamboo spoons, yeah, I couldn't say no to that. And um, yeah, these were 60% off. Um, so love, love, love. I bought I don't know, five of them. Um, so I have 30 spoons. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Uh, but I do think that whatever I do with them will add just a tremendous amount of value to the craft. So I probably should have grabbed a lot more of these. And I probably will at some point. Um, so I got those. Oh, these actually aren't for the business. Uh, Little Brit really wanted these. He makes the most amazing charcuterie boards you've ever seen. <coughs> Excuse me. I will try to put some of those on. Um, I have some pictures from ones he's made in the past. I will try to remember to put those on our Instagram, our Little Brit Instagram page. But he really wanted these, and I need to go back. I think that fall's gone down to like 75% or more. Like I said, I haven't really been out and about a lot I got a lot of shopping done last weekend and it took everything out of me for the week pretty much. So I'm going to try to go back uh, today since I feel much better, especially being on the antibiotics for a few days. Um, anyway, he loved these and they were 60%. No, these were only 50% off at the time. These, I think these were, but he's so cute and he makes the best combinations. Next time he does a combination, I will share it with you where we purchase things and what kind of combinations he did. Uh, but he finds things that I think these, this is not going to go together. These jams aren't going to go with these cheeses and so on. And they do. And, uh, it's quite delicious and he's, he's quite, he's quite good at it. Um, okay. So 60% off. I, 
Oh my golly, guys, these tags are so stinking cute. Uh, let me pull them out here for a minute. We could look at the back, but it's much more fun to pull them out and look at them in person. Yeah, I haven't opened anything. I waited for you all. I'm usually not that patient. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, but I don't cheat when it comes to Christmas presents. Mm -mm, no, never. I would, I would rather be surprised. Every year, uh, my birthday is close to Christmas. It's in December. And so every year, my husband takes us to... Um, we live pretty close to Bush Gardens and King's Dominion, and every year we go to one of those places for my birthday. That's my present uh, with with our little family, uh, just to enjoy the day. And I just love it so much. Uh, anyway, so I love Christmas. So these are the most adorable stinking little tags. Oh my golly! Look at that cute little reindeer. So these are going to be perfect on. I mean, honestly, so many projects. I'm not even sure that I could name them now. Um, just, I, I, it's doubtful I will use these as cards on, on presents. Sorry, but they're just so cute. They belong on more permanent things, um, in my opinion. Isn't he cute? What I will probably do with this guy is I will take the ribbon off and I will take a little white pom-pom, put the little white pom-pom there in place and then add him to um, a card or... Uh, some as some other embellishment with this one probably do something that you may be layering it you would end up not seeing the hole in the card but I don't actually mind necessarily seeing some of the holes in the cards I've used these on uh, my chocolate packets something like this and people loved them just the same they to them they saw that it was a tag that they and then they could give this to someone so that works too and that makes the decorations on the top on the um chocolate nugget pack it's really easy in the hot chocolate um love this guy definitely going to use him on a card and use a little red pom-pom up there maybe pink or something oh wouldn't it be cute if i had i yes they have okay as i'm thinking about looking at him so they have these tiny little decorations they're teeny they're like that size at hobby lobby in a bag you get a bag full of them for i don't know a dollar or something um but wouldn't that be cute to put that up on top here in a card? I just realized he was out of focus. Wouldn't that be cute? Something like that right there. A little cute little uh, piece right. Oh, oh, got to do it. Got to do it. I will show you. I promise I'll do another one of my little um, card run throughs. If you haven't seen that on Instagram and Facebook, I have a cute little. Uh, it just has some Christmas music playing in the background and shows you some of my cards. One of which was badly out of focus. And I'm really sorry about that, but I'll fix it later. Okay, super cute, easy to do, and I'm okay with the hole being there because that makes sense for an ornament. Uh, so love this. Probably I will brush it off a little bit, maybe hmm, see if there's a way that I can better adhere that glitter because it is definitely shedding. Get them off Santa. So cute. Okay, and again, I probably would put a pom-pom up here or something else cute right there. I might actually... Think about adding, if I add this to a card, I could add a piece of felt over the top. Um, just use the Santa face and then just add a um, cute little piece of felt, a little piece of lining there. Adding a few things to him. I think he's super cute. Doubtful I would do much with this one. I could, you could take one of your um, die cutters and cut it just slightly smaller and get rid of the hole if you wanted to. But I don't, you know, I don't mind the hole very much. Um, or I could put a little tiny bit of beard right there. So you feel like you've got a little tiny bit of um, faux fur. That literally just right there. So you see the tip of Santa's beard. Be so cute. Yep, I did say, sorry, you know I'm going to take a long time. I just do. I am long-winded. Um, so cute little presents. These are adorable. These little tags are really, really cute, and they're perfect. They're perfect to add to uh, to some as an, an embellishment, or honestly, just adding into your journals where you have tuck spaces. This is just a really cute thing that you can add, and you could add something different to the back. Oh, I love this one. Oh, this one is so super cute. Holy cow, and I love that it doesn't have the to and from on the back. That one's a little messed up. 
I do love that. Okay, so I love that it doesn't know the two are from because that makes it even better for like a tuck space. So you've got your naughty and nice. It's cute. It's okay. I love this one. This one's super cute. You could probably fill that in. Oh my golly. I adore this one. And again, there's nothing on the back. There's no to or from. There's to and from on the back of that one and on that one, but there's not on this one. And I adore that it doesn't have the to or from on the back of it. So anyway, those are super cute. Cannot wait to use those in some albums. What else do I get? I forget. Oh, I love these. And I, I have picked these up before. I maybe even shown you before. So I've picked these up before. Uh, my intention was to... Uh, put these onto um, my hot chocolate packets, my top of them, where they, uh, a little signage that says hot chocolate. Put a little one of these at the end of each one. You get 32 pieces if I have 50 packets. It's a, you know, this dollar fifty. actually it was less than a dollar fifty because it was 60% off, so, oh, a dollar twenty. Um, that's, that's a really good price point for them, so, um, picked up these. I really like the feel of these. They're nice and they're raised and they have a lot going for them. And I just do like the um, indentation of them. This one looks like something very bad happened to it. Oh, the, oh, I know it didn't. Okay. So the E, the R and the T on this one, I don't know if you really can see that, are stamped harder than the rest of the letters. It, it does have a funky look if you don't look really closely to it. So anyway, really nice signage there. Oh, I loved these. Again, at 60% off, that was $2 for the six. And I just thought they were super cute. I bought two of them. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with them yet, but I do love these. And I do think that I still need to make um, my uh, nail file holders. I did. So uh, we did, I did everything in one day. Last Saturday, I was finally okay enough to do things. I had, uh, I don't know if you remember that I had two shows going. And... Um, and so we did, my husband, uh, so Big Brit, Little Brit and I all headed to one show and my sisters headed to the other show. Um, and it was interesting. It was uh, not the space I thought I was going to be in. And it was interesting talking to some of the other vendors there. It was not where we thought we had signed up for. Um, it was okay. And I think the, the person who tried it, I don't think that they pulled anything over on us. I think that it, for most of us, it was just our fault not looking deeper into where we were going. Um, and and the uh, the person leading it was, was very, very nice. I have no complaints about that. Um, they tried to get traffic to come through. It was just a really slow day. Um, but we also had the, the show going on in Charlottesville. So um, so we did we did the shows where I was actually able to sit quite a bit. And then, uh, and then after the shows, that's when I went and did my shopping and, uh, sorry about that. The power just went out for a minute and then flipped back on again. So, huh, that's fun. Um, uh, <laughs> no idea why. Luckily we have a very strong power grid. So more than likely something went down. My husband will know because when we, and he was in England, when he, uh, he was actually worked on the power lines. So uh, anyway, found this. Love it, love it, love it. So cute. Again, 60% uh, off. So that makes it what? Two, four, six, eight, 80, 95 cents. Um, and it's just adorable. They're a little bit shiny. Um, let me see again. Let's clarify that for you guys. Uh, I love the little hot chocolate mugs and the little gingerbread. It's a little scene to me. And I definitely think this is going to end up on one of my cards. So then I knew going in, it's one of the reasons why I went in to shop, is that Hobby Lobby had put a lot of their, uh, or a bunch of their Christmas, their brand new Christmas dyes on clearance. I don't know why. I don't begin to try to figure out why they would do that, including Tim Holtz. Um, but I'm just happy to be able to uh, get some of these at these prices. Um, and they're not as cheap as some of the other clearance things, uh, reduced things. But still, at Christmas time, to get these before Christmas was quite a boon. Um, I love this little girl. She, she makes me think very much of um, the 60s. 
um, kind of the early 60s type thing. Um, there's my ums. I love these. Just the little cookies. And you don't need to do them. I like, I love the gingerbread the way they've shown them here. But certainly, I'm going to do these in lots of different colors. Um, just like a plate of cookies. And just so super stinking cute. I mean, Tim Holtz can do no wrong. This was the most expensive one I bought. And I just really liked it. I liked the uh, the way you can get some of the effects here. Uh, you get you actually make the ribbon. Um, so this ribbon it, it's going to go together. The stars also, I believe, you, you kind of um, have to have to paper craft those together a little bit. I love the Christmas here and the carolers, uh, and I think that you could edit this caroler a little bit to make. A small variety of characters uh, I mean of carolers so super cute really liked this one um, put it back three times and finally said you know I might as well get it because I'm tired and I need to go uh, love this guy oh my golly look at him and it you've got you can do brown bears and black bears and polar bears I have to do a polar bear for my sister um, so cute love the little woodpecker here this one Again, I almost didn't get him. The price was fine. $8.99 was fine. Yes, I spent some money <laughs> um, doing these purchases, but this is uh, this is out of my business account, so uh, which is as it should be because it's for the business. But um, I looked at these and walked away and then went back to them because I thought these are going to be so good for so many different things. They're not just Christmas, even though they're part of his Christmas uh, I, uh, series. Um, you know, in the spring, the does, the doe and the fawn are wonderful. Uh, they're, they're, they're fabulous for, um, spring cards and, and spring looks when you think about rebirth. Um, and they're wonderful for fall and they're wonderful for, um, for Christmas. And, and anyway, I began to see the possibilities and I thought I really should pick that one up. And this one. Again, uh, fall, spring, I can add little cute bows or something to these. Winter. Uh, so lots of options here. Um, maybe summer, but summer's an entity onto itself. Um, I thought these were just adorable. One thing I don't know. I should pull this out. So I don't know that I want the... Um, hole at the top of each one of these. And I'm not sure how to stop the hole from happening. Um, but I'll have to work on that a little bit because I don't, I just don't know that I want that hole. And I honestly think that this becomes a little less marketable uh, to those of us who really don't want to have that hole in the top of that head. I can use it for so many other things. I can use this for so many things. This I think would be perfect for a um, gift card holder. Um, but I don't want the hole in his head. It just seems... So I'm not sure if I can stop the hole in the head. I don't think I can. I think it's going to be there. So I may have to rethink this piece. Uh, this piece. And sizz uh, let's see, Sizzlix, let's see, Olivia Rage. Uh, Rage? I wish that you had given us the hole independently or given us just the option of putting the hole in uh, because I think that that really changes him. Um, I mean, honestly, what can you say? Love, 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 love. Oh my God. Okay, so super cute. Uh, the way this one goes together. And again, this is a thinlet, so it fits through my smaller machine. Love everything here and so many different options. Just really so many different options for these guys um, for some of uh, some of the card, gift cards and things. And this was another one. I had not gone in to get it. I hadn't seen it before. And yet it was just so stinking cute. And I thought, um, you know, I, there's so much you can do with, with birds and you don't need to put the hats on them. So this this can cover a number of seasons. Um, so loved this one. Spent a tiny fortune, but like I said, um, 
as a small business owner, sometimes you have to, sometimes not. So, uh, okay, moving on. I got some fabric. These are fabric panels, and I, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole panel. But I'll show you some of it. So, this is uh, a book that goes together, and I just really loved the design on this uh, on these pieces. This is a very, very vintagey, very turn of the century. Um, look how stinking cute that is. So I don't think that I'm going to turn this into a book. I have several ideas. I could turn this into a quilt uh, just by cutting out the different pieces, laying them out and doing um, uh, some different bordering, some sashing. Uh, some other pieces in between. Um, looking at it now, because again, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't looked at this stuff since I bought it, and I was in a hurry when I was buying because I knew I was just so stinking tired. Um, but looking at it now, guys, honestly, each of these could be turned into a placemat. Wouldn't this be the cutest series of placemats, especially for a young child? And every day they get another piece of the of the uh, the story anyway so it these are just really cute um, you could also cut these out um, if you wanted to you could cut out these sections something like this and turn it into a mug rug um, and you could have each one of these as a separate independent mug rug because of the sizing yeah the sizing of them I mean each of these could be a mug rug um, so there are lots of things that we can do with this, independent of turning it into the book that it is. <laughs> All right, this is supposed to be the front and back of the book. This really, is this Toby DePaulo? Oh no, it's Susan Wright. Okay, so of course it is. <laughs> well, of course it is. Beautiful. This is beautiful. And I don't mind this little thing down the middle because I would probably, if I turn these into placemats, I will probably quilt that anyway. Um, so I would, you know, I would end up quilting and that would just have a quilt. Uh, that would be my beginning quilt line. Actually, it might be really nice because it could be my beginning quilt line in the middle. Um, so everything about this I love and they were all on clearance. And I think that they were... Um, golly, like 60, 70 or more percent off. I mean, just very deep clearance. So I got a yard or a panel of everything. Isn't he cute? Oh my golly, he's so cute. Uh, no idea what I'm doing with him. Probably going to turn him into, uh, add him to maybe a tote bag. Um, I like the idea of having him at the sort of the top of the tote bag uh, because we need Christmas tote bags. I mean, for the Christmas season, you had to have a tote bag when you're out shopping and all that stuff. Um, so probably some kind of a bag. Oh, uh, that's the other thing I was thinking about with him. I may use him as part of a um, Christmas uh, book pillow. Uh, I'm going to be doing a series of Christmas book pillows for the company uh, for the next um, sale. Because I, I just, I came up with this idea. And honestly, maybe I heard somebody else talk about it. I don't think so. Um so I, I, I believe this is my idea, but I watch a lot of videos. So if it was someone else's, I apologize because I don't remember hearing it from anyone else. Anyway, uh, I was thinking of doing the Christmas book pill pillows and uh, putting a book inside them at the next show and talking and basically with a little, a little information thing about um, night before Christmas pillows. So there are two ideas that I would use these for. Um, little Brit is a little bit old for this, but I may still do something like this with him because I love the idea and he's not that old. He's 11. He's not, you know, it's not like he's ancient, um, but he's definitely a tween. Uh, anyway, wouldn't this be so cute to have something like this really pretty book pillow that you could, um, put a book in every night leading up to Christmas. So the countdown to Christmas every day, uh, your child could, or, or, um, you could have a, a little set of 24 wrapped books sitting in a basket with your book pillow and every day you put a new book in. And so uh, in the evening, your child goes and picks up the book pillow 
with the new book in it for you two to read, to, for the child to unwrap and you to read together. Anyway, I love that idea. <laughs> I wish that my little Brit was young enough to do it still. Um, or you could even just put something small inside it every day. It wouldn't have to be a book. I mean, it fits plenty of things. It could be where your child finds the elf presents. It could be for December 6th, uh, Scandinavian. So instead of shoes, instead of putting things into the shoes, you could put something into your book pillow. It could be that the child, that your child gets a, or, you know, honestly, adults, um, get a book pillow with a book in it on Christmas Eve. Uh, a Christmas book or something special. Anyway, that's what these are for. I love the gingerbread. Uh, this one actually is not for the book pillow because it's a little bit rougher. This is going to be uh, part of a bag. So this cute one, I just love this one so much. It's going to be part of a bag. This is for the book pillow. Just love it. Love, love, love. And I may take some of this and turn it into a um, hot pad. I think that would be really cute. I like to do the uh, really long hot pads that go down the center of your table. Um, and I, I'll do a tutorial on those, but that way you don't, um, you don't have to put so many trivets out. You, you've got one in the middle of the table. Everything goes in the middle of the table. Um, I love this one. It's very similar. So I, I thought that these two were the same one at first. They are not, um, but they are definitely very, very similar. Same color schemes and the same types of items. Love this one. And again, um, I will probably do a gingerbread book pillow. Um, but I may also do, probably do some things for the kitchen. All right. Well, you know, got to do this one. And if I can find, so to add a book can be a little bit expensive. Um, so I'll be looking at the Dollar Tree. So hopefully I'll be able to find a Nutcracker book at the Dollar Tree to go in this book pillow because this is so, so cute. And then a couple of additional panels. So this panel... Again, I'm not going to be able to stretch the whole thing out for you. Um, it is, you've got the truck. I'm sorry, you've got the, not the truck. You've got the older car. Um, and then it really is just surrounded by this red gingham. And a cute little house on top. And I liked this um, Christmas tree farm. Um, you know, again, I'm so sorry. That it's a, so discombobulated. Again, I'm still working on my editing skills, and I'll try to get a picture of this and put it in here somewhere. Um, but it's just super cute. This one will be doing, I'm just going to do a panel, a uh, quilt panel, that uh, you, a wall hanging with that one. And I'll do a wall hanging with this one because it's so, so cute. Here comes Santa. I love some of these more vintagey Santas that I'm seeing these days. Um, super cute. Super, super duper cute. Oh my goodness, yep. Like, just like me, we're already at 40 some minutes. I'm so sorry, you can fast forward. Um, okay, and that's not everything from Hobby Lobby. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stop this one with just Joanne fabric and Hobby Lobby. And then I'll do a separate one for, um, uh, brain don't fail me now. I will do a separate one for uh, Dollar Tree since that one is longer and not to keep you all here forever. Not that I don't like you being with me forever. I think it's lovely. Um, okay, so the last of, of uh, Hobby Lobby, I picked up these sticker scenes and again, 60% off, brought this down to, oh my golly, um, $1.20. And a dollar twenty for twelve of these. These are going to go into the um, um, kids' uh, uh, activity packs for Christmas. Uh, I think these are just so cute. I have a lot to go into my kids' activity kits, and I need to get those done before the next show. I bought these. No clue what I'm going to do with them. Not a single stinking clue. Let's see if I can focus on those. But I, how can you say no? Seriously, they're little teeny tiny cookie cutters. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But again, yeah. So I made a mistake of buying this, the hot foil, because I wasn't paying attention. And I was thinking it was a die cut. 
and it of course is not it's for a hot foil machine which i do not have so i don't think i can return this i think that you can't return their clearance items i loved the please deliver to santa so i'll see if i can figure out something to do with this it's a shame um this would have been just such a wonderful <laughs> wonderful buy that was a mistake well i told you i wasn't really in my right mind <laughs> I was, um okay let's focus on this guy so again just a dollar 20 for these packs i bought two of them they're super cute <coughs> excuse me puffy stickers just really cute santas wonderful pieces i love the penguins um just really really cute uh, uh, sticker sets. I bought these little ones. Um, again, I'm thinking these gift tags will probably go into uh, junk journals uh, or albums because they just work. I think they just work that way. And I love this little Merry Christmas one. And again, I think, yeah, this one sells the to and from. Um, but really cute uh, for your junk journals and again for your albums in just little tuck spaces. Um, really cute. And then I found, uh, because we were not, uh, in at our Hobby Lobby, we were still in, um, Kinston. Um, I found some packs of paper that I have not seen in the past. I'm going to try to pull this off without, I find sometimes if I reach in and I cut it. It can be damaging. So we're going to do this. And that. Okay. And then I take, I like to just put my wreath. So let's take a look. This is one sided. Do, I do not love this. <laughs> this is not my thing. Um, but I'm sure I'll have a use for it somewhere. I love this. Okay, so we've got candy canes, and I think we have four sheets of each. Yes, so that's a good amount. You've got another buffalo print here, always useful. Love this poinsettia. Love, love, love. I think that's gorgeous. If that was material, I would buy it too. Love it. Um, you've got a nice green plaid in here. That's great. It goes with so many different things. Wonderful little Santa dancing around with his candy cane. Oh, I do it again. Um, this is kind of cute. This is a different way to put, to, uh, show Holly. Uh, but certainly it's a good backing to different things. I really like this and I'm thinking about, there are several things I see here. I see, uh, I see a tree, right? We see a tree. I see pennants. If I cut that off, I can do, I could do a, a small series of paper pennants, which I think would be really fun. Um, and you could even just fold them along these lines and then attach it. I see a gnome. Do you see the gnome? I don't know if you see that. Do you see that gnome right there? I see a bunch of cute gnomes. So uh, I really like this paper. I think that this has just a tremendous number of possibilities. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do something fun with that one. This is pretty, and again, I you know sometimes you need just the simple Christmassy things that can be backings um, that are that are not going to distract from from something else um, you know from other stickers or from other things um, here is the Santa dancing wildly again but some other cute ones there with the snowman and you've got the farm I love this page very similar to the other one um, to the um, poinsettia but Love the holly. I'm a sucker for that. This one's cute. And again, it, it is a little busy with the snowflakes, but it's very cute. This would be wonderful on a card. I can see a card with like a really big snowflake and a little let it snow or something cute or a hot chocolate emblem. Um, cute, definitely. You've got the iconic uh, uh, red truck, little red truck. Um, and you've got your barn wonderful little santas tons i can do with him he's so stinking cute not a fan uh this is not my favorite paper but again there's almost always something you can do 
with that. So that's the first one. This is going to be the last of it. <laughs> and then please come back and see the Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm going to try to take that pretty quickly. <laughs> I laugh. I really can't do anything quickly, can I? I can. I mean, just not film-wise because there's so much I want to share. Okay, so I picked up Rustic, Noel, and Very Merry Christmas. I'm not sure if I had seen these. I do like this very much. I like these little cut-aparts. And again, one, two, you get three of these. So I like this sort of distressed look plaid. Joy to the world. Love that one. Love, love, love. Very simple. Uh, nice backing. I love this. It's really cute. They, they're doing a lot with sort of the planking. You can see the planking lines going through. But I do like this very much. I just like the distressed, kind of distressed look of it all. Um, no, I'm not even a remote, remotely going to tell you that I'm a fan of this because I am not. But again, I can find, you know, we find things for our papers. I'll find something for that. It's okay. Love. Yes, I'm very opinionated. I'm sorry. There, I'm, I'm sure there are things in here that, you know, it's just, just my opinion, guys. I, you know, we all have different tastes. Um, this one's okay. I actually really love this one. This plaid. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the Tim Holtz um, stamp for this year. Uh, a stamp or a die cut? That might be a die cut. Uh, but I love this one. It's just really pretty. This one's very nice, very simple. Sometimes we need that. Cute. This, oh my golly, for some reason, if, I don't know if you can see that color. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, it's a very Grinchy color. That's what it reminds me of, the Grinch. And then cute little bells, and that's the end of that one. And last, but definitely not least, well, I don't think so. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Come on. These used to be circular. It's interesting that they're square right now. I did skim through all of these, made sure that there was enough in here that I did love before I purchased them. I do love that one. I think I've got a card almost exactly like that. Again, you get three sheets of each uh, of this six by six. Um, I do like this. I like that, you know, sometimes I just really need that simple. And you can see that. So it's just the little Swiss dots. Um, cute. A little bit modern. I do like these because I will cut these apart and use them as strips and cards and things. So those are nice to have. Holly the holly and the ivy. And let it snow. I think I could sing a song for each of these. Let it snow. Uh, this chevron, this very almost candy cane-like chevron is really doing it for me, guys. I like this. I like this. Oh, I've got to figure out something fun to do with that. I like this one. I like the simplicity of some of it. Mary Mary. Straight black with the stars. Nah, not my favorite, but I can actually see where this could work. A little nativity scene would be cute. Um, these are, can you see what these are? These are trees. These are all little trees. Uh, let me focus for you. There we go. So these are all little trees pointing inward. That's kind of cute. It's clever. Okay, so we've got the snow... Let's re-bring the focus. Um, this one's kind of large. So, uh, you know, for me, a lot of what I want to do with these are is uh, make cards. That, that would be a pretty big card, but maybe. Or again, as I was looking at it, you can really just, you, you can bring it down to, um, what would that be? You can bring that down to about five inches wide so you can get you can take off at least a half an inch on either side maybe a little bit more which isn't bad I like the cardinals very cute 
green chevron not loving you know, I mean, it's nice i don't love it as much as the red i really like the red this one's interesting but i'm not a fan of like this kind of tree and this looks like eyes staring at me <laughs> i'd be weird i don't know but it does i'm sorry all right i like this one this is this one is very vintage 50s to me that's how that one plays out and that is the end guys so um yep I did some shopping and the Dollar Tree haul will be the next video to come out and it is probably going to come out within a day or so. Sorry I lied to you at the beginning and said we were going to have that uh, earlier. I didn't mean to, but this is going on an hour already and uh, the Dollar Tree was even more stuff. So please, please, please come back for the next one. If you like what you see or you like some of the other videos, um, please hit that like button and subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber to come back and visit with me soon. I promise not to, unless I get sick again. I can't promise anything about whether we get sick, but if, as you know, as long as we're healthy, I'll make videos for you and hope that you enjoy them. Anyway, thanks guys. Cheers.